Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at something a little bit goofy, a little bit bizarre. I got on Twitch today and I looked over into the recommended channels section on Twitch where they recommend you channels to watch and I saw Matthew underscore behavior and they had over 200 viewers. So I'm thinking, wait, is that Matthew Cote, the game director of Dead by Daylight? Uh, I didn't know he had a Twitch and the only reason I'm thinking it's possibly him is because They've got over 200 viewers. Uh, it's got the same profile picture as he has on Twitter. And also, Twitch is recommending it to me. Twitch is telling me, hey, go watch this channel. And they've done that in the past for other uh, members of Behavior who do have Twitch accounts. I've been recommended um, a few of those in the past. So I thought, well, you know, maybe it's actually Matt. You know, maybe it's actually him. So I thought, hey, I'll go check out his channel and see what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about the Haddonfield rework. Or maybe he's talking about the upcoming anniversary event. I don't know, I'll just pop in. And I got bamboozled. It's not Matthew, it's actually a hacker who is using Matthew's name to try to troll people and get them to click on the stream and watch them uh, hack in Dead by Daylight. And luckily they have Twitch's support, uh, who is, like I said, recommending the channel to people. And they're still live right now, so I figure we'll jump in and see what they're up to. All right, and here we are. Matthew Behavior, streaming some PTB. For a couple hundred people, nice. Oh, and if, if I get rid of my webcam here, you can see the flex up there. DBD bans, 52. 52 times they've been banned on DBD, and here they are still still grinding it out. Looks like making this game free on the Epic Store might not have been the best idea. I like the people on the right. Look, everybody's falling for it. Does Matthew talk? Is this really Matthew? All right, what do we got here? Look at that. Oh, that was interesting. Is that just to see which killer it is, I guess? The insta boon, I like it. The insta boon. Where are we going? Nice. Oh, we're gonna do the infinite head on. Nice. So look at their exhausted status effect just trickle down while they're running. That's pretty nice. All right, let's see. Sick dead hard. Uh oh, they got downed. Are they gonna power struggle them? Yeah. Oh my. What the hell? Just lifting the pallet from over here. Okay. Interesting. Dude, you can do some wild shit with hacks. Yo, that dead hard sends you flying. Ah. That's one way to get out of a situation. Amazing. I love how determined this legion is though. This legion just keeps on going. I would have DC'd at this point. It's the PTB, there's no like penalty. See, like they said on the right, I agree. This this legion's a gamer trying to catch the cheat, absolute Chad. I agree. This legion is a Chad. Dude, did you see that dead hard? It was literally the entire distance of that truck. Oh my god. Not the locker again. Oh my god, they still dead hearted? What the fuck was that? <laughs> they dead hearted when they teleported to the other side. This Lori is like, what the? Damn, chat's getting a little spicy on the right though. Oh my god, the victor kicks right in the ass? <laughs> what? I don't know you could do that. So that so now hackers can just kick you in the ass as well. Oh Legion This poor Legion keeps trying her best so determined Stop falling for the head on not again not again What the fuck Did they just, they just hit a skill check and made that generator completely zero progress. They're trolling the teammates too. So you can go buy survivors on a gen and just make their gen completely lose all progress. Dude, what, where does it end? How much can a hacker actually do? This is nutty. Another power struggle. Yeah. We're going to pick up the pallet from in the, in the house this time. Nice. And then dead hard right back to it. This legion just keeps trying. 
<laughs> now they have DS. Legion, don't you fall for this again. You can't, no, God, dude. It's poor Legion, man. Oh, they just trapped now? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? The Victor kicks. <laughs> it's fucked up, but it's it just looks so ridiculous that it's... What the hell was that? Like grabbed onto Legion. All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and report. I, f I, I feel like I have to at least try because I feel awful for this Legion. All right, I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but one of the survivors just DC'd. I'm surprised it took so long. Another DS. What is that? I still don't know what that is. Just grab onto him. The dead heart sends you so far. This legion is still going. This legion's just ignoring the other survivors. Like, no, I want that one. Yes, yeah, so they've been banned on DBD 52 times, and they've been streaming for almost two hours. And Twitch is recommending this. That's so crazy. Not only are they not banned. What is this? He's making them fail. What on earth, man? Insta boon. Insta heal on the car. At least this Legion got a kill though. Mending in the sky, nice. We're bouncing, we're bouncing. Legion still still going for it, still determined. Oh man. I'm starting to see why they're using hacks. Yeah, I can't believe Twitch is recommending this to people as opposed to banning them for hacking and streaming. I think this match has been going on for like 15 minutes and this legion is just still what the hell happened did legion dc oh no they just left the match so legion kind of won in a sense they they didn't they didn't quit good for legion what a chad that legion is a chad I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, why, why aren't you blurring the name out, dude? Why aren't you, why aren't you blurring the name? Because it's, it's a troll account that's probably going to get banned. Unless Twitch just keeps recommending them, maybe, maybe Twitch won't ban them. So now they hosted a channel called DBDBot12. And it's one of the bots that just plays the game. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? These are just, just shredding through pallets. So is this a robot? Is this a robot? Is this not an actual player? I don't think it is. Look at that. They're like, they walk like a robot. So these are the hacking robots. Interesting. I've never seen these. That's Spirit Fury. <laughs> Jesus. This is so strange. What the hell was that? Just all of a sudden they're down. And then they just teleport to each one and pick them up? Yo, what on earth? At what point does the bot just decide to end the match in, in a second? What in the... Look at that, precision. <laughs> a bot spirit. That's so weird. So they just phase and they know exactly... Wow, dude, you can actually program your own robot hacker. I've heard about this, but I've never actually seen it. They're just gonna like come out of phase next to somebody again. Yo, DBD is in a state right now. DBD is in a, is in a state right now. They have hacking survivor bots too, or is it just killers? 
Can you program a survivor to hack as well? Yeah, I'd DC too. Actually, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably stick around and see what's up. Look at that phase. Did they just shake their head at him too? Look at fucking BMing bots. Another DC into an instant lightning phase. Oh, poor Jake just crouching. No, Jake. Well, damn. All right, I think we get the idea. I wasn't expecting a, a two for one special there. I thought we were just going to be looking at Matthew Cote hacking in Dead by Daylight. That's what I thought this was going to be, which I mean, it, that's the main kind of goofy, goofy thing here. But I, I guess we're looking at DBD bots, too. The funniest part to me still is that Twitch recommended that to people and they had over 200 viewers because Twitch was recommending it, like putting it in people's recommended. I think they had like 100 followers. You know, because it's probably like a new account or something. But because Twitch decided to put it in people's recommended, got a ton of viewers. And I don't know, it's just goofy. It, it made it made people actually believe, myself included, that Matthew Cote was streaming on Twitch. And we were all just popping in to see what, what Matthew was up to. And that's that's what we came into. And I really don't know who trolled this more, whether it was the hacker or Twitch. Probably Twitch, to be honest. Because if this guy was just streaming, you know, with a couple of viewers, I don't think he would have fooled anybody. But I think Twitch is the real MVP in terms of this troll making people really uh, get sucked in. After seeing that and the like the bot that they hosted afterwards, it, it blows my mind the amount of things you can do to absolutely break this game. Like I've seen, I mean, I've seen hacking in games, you know, wall hacks and aim bots and stuff in other games. I've never seen hacking to this extent, but I mean, I, I don't do a lot of research into how much you can hack in a game, but I just, I've never seen anything like hacking in Dead by Daylight. Like the amount of stuff you can do. I think the real MVP in this situation is that Legion, they were determined they didn't give up. They just kept going. They got head on 50 times and they just kept on going. And I just, I'm impressed. I, I respect the resilience, but that's going to do it for this video. I have no idea if this account's even still going to be active or if they'll be banned because hacking in games and streaming it is against TOS on Twitch. People get banned for it quite a bit. There's been a lot of bigger streamers that have been banned for it. Uh, but again, Twitch is also recommending the channel, so who knows? I don't know, it's just a kind of a goofy, like I said, goofy, bizarre situation. But hope you enjoyed either way, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.